Here we are in the final month of a brutal year for most stocks as we continue to endure a bear market. However, investors have been a little more chipper of late as the S&P 500 has clawed back some of those losses. But we are still sitting at a negative 15% return in the S&P 500. Interest rates continue to climb. It does look like inflation may have peaked, but it is still very high. Layoffs continue to tick higher and the economy seems poised for a mild recession in 2023. Given these facts and the fact that it seems like we are closer to the end of this bear market, now may be a great time to add high quality dividend paying stocks at low valuations. And in today's video, we're gonna look at four high quality dividend stocks that may be worthy of a second look for your dividend portfolio. And with that being said, let's get started. Hey everyone, Mark here back for another video and today we will be looking at four dividend paying stocks to add to your Christmas list this holiday season. But before we begin, let me take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Moomoo. Moomoo is a commission-free trading platform owned by the NASDAQ listed fintech company Futu with over 19 million users across 20 countries and regions. Right now, Moomoo has an exciting holiday sweepstakes where you could enter to win their top prize of $50,000 cash. Plus they have 10 second place prizes of $1,000 cash each totaling $60,000. Plus, if you open your own Moomoo account and deposit cash, you will receive up to 15 free stocks and $10 cash back just by using my link down in the description below. Moomoo has a lot of great tools from stock screeners to heat maps. And if you're new to investing, you could use their paper trading. But one tool that I like is their institutional investor tracker, where you can track moves from the likes of Warren Buffett. So definitely take a look at Moomoo and see my link down in the description below. All right, now let's take a look at four dividend stocks for you to consider in the month of December. Dividend stock number one is Target Corporation stock ticker TGT. Target currently has a market cap of $75 billion, and on the year, shares have been under pressure as they are down nearly 30% year to date. The company was founded in 1907, and Target is one of the biggest retailers serving North America. It ranks 32nd in the Fortune Magazine's list of top 500 US companies by revenue. Target takes a very simple approach value, visibility, and location. With over 1,900 stores, Target is often one of the largest in the shopping centers they occupy. Over the past two decades, Target has been able to grow their earnings per share every year except for four of those years. Looking at this chart, you can see how revenues have grown over the past 10 years and have surpassed $100 billion. As noted, shares of Target have really been under pressure, especially of late after they announced their recent earnings, which saw an array of different issues, including high inventory levels. During the pandemic, they had a short supply. They couldn't get enough supply, but now a lot of that supply has come into their stores and they are flush with inventory and they're having to discount a lot of this inventory, which puts pressure on those margins. Over the years, Target has been a great dividend stock. And now not only are they a great dividend stock, but they're a great dividend stock trading at a nice valuation, especially given the 15% drop we saw after the company's most recent earnings release a few weeks back. Shares are currently trading in line with their five-year average price to earnings multiple of 16.5 times. EPS fell off a ton this year, but analysts are expecting them to recover that in 2023 with EPS growth of 79% followed by another 15% growth in 2024, making the forward valuation even that much more intriguing. In terms of the dividend, the company currently pays an annual dividend of $4.32, which equates to a dividend yield of 2.64%. Over the past five years, the company has increased the dividend at an average of 10% per year, and they are considered a dividend king as they have increased their dividend for 54 consecutive years and counting. The second dividend stock that we're gonna look at for the month of December is Simon Property Group, stock ticker SPG. Simon Property Group currently has a market cap of $45 billion, and on the year, shares are down 24%. 
Simon Property Group is the premier mall landlord here in the US. Simon Property Group doesn't just have your average run of the mill tenants, they have more upscale tenants, have luxury items like think of Apple or Coach, Louis Vuitton, things like that. A lot of luxury items can be found in Simon Property Group malls. This is evidenced by their A-rated portfolio and how these are classified is based on retail sales per square foot and Simon Property Group is a leader in their industry. Simon Property Group has a very strong management team that is led by David Simon, who happens to be in the Simon family who founded the company many years ago. The balance sheet is backed with a strong A- credit rating, which tells you that the company is able to withstand slower economic times. Simon Property Group, along with many other REITs, have been under pressure of late due to continued rising interest rates and fears of a pending recession. These fears are not going away, but at current levels, the valuations look very intriguing to start a position if you have no exposure to SPG. Simon Property Group currently trades at a price to a FFO of just 11 times, and over the past five years, they have traded closer to an average AFFO of 14 and a half times. Analysts, however, are expecting 5% AFFO growth in 2023 still. In terms of the dividend, Simon Property Group had to cut their dividend at the start of the pandemic, but have certainly made it a point to get things back to where they were. Currently, the company has a dividend yield of 5.6%, which is well covered by a low payout ratio. And the company has hiked their dividend for three straight quarters now. December dividend stock number three is Costco Wholesale, stock ticker COST. Costco Wholesale has a market cap of $236 billion. They're actually the best performing stock of the four that we're looking at today with a year to date performance of only negative 6%, far outpacing the S&P 500. Costco has actually held in there quite well, even with these high inflation, these skyrocketing food costs. As you know, Costco operates an international chain of warehouses. They carry branded items, but they also have their in-house items, such as their Kirkland Signature brand, which is one of my favorites. Rising food costs should continue to drive strong results as consumers need food and they're also looking for the best deals, which are typically found at a store like Costco. Costco is able to offer very low prices. They have very low margins when it comes to their actual sales of their food items, but they also have very high margins with their membership business. And that membership business has a very high renewal percentage, well over 90%. Costco increases their membership prices around every five and a half years, and many analysts are expecting another hike to come in 2023. So far, the company says there are no price hikes for the rest of 2022. Costco has 65.8 million household memberships, and the higher priced executive memberships accounts for 44% of Costco members. Costco continues to expand their international footprint and they are actually opening 20 new warehouses per year on average. In terms of safety, when it comes to an investment, Costco has an A plus rated balance sheet. Plus they are backed by a very strong $1.50 hot dog. Looking at valuation, analysts are looking for EPS growth of 11% in 2023 with EPS expectations of $14.53 per share. This equates to a forward price to earnings multiple of 36.7 times. This is in line with the company's five year average. So given that the company has been trading actually quite well and performing quite well, outperforming really the S&P 500, the valuation isn't a steal right here, but it's really in line with where we would expect a company like Costco to be. In terms of the dividend, the company pays an annual dividend of $3.60, which equates to a dividend yield below 1%. They have a five-year dividend growth rate of 12.5% and they have been increasing their dividend for 18 consecutive years and counting. December dividend stock number four is Qualcomm, stock ticker QCOM. Qualcomm currently has a market cap of $138 billion and on the year shares are down 32%. Qualcomm over the years has built a very strong business. Many different companies out there use Qualcomm technology, which has allowed them to generate millions in royalty income. For years, Qualcomm and Apple were two partners where Apple was really relying on Qualcomm chips in many of their products. 
but today that relationship has really soured as over the years the company has sued one another over Qualcomm charging too much for their royalty and Apple not paying on their what they owe Qualcomm. The two companies have battled it out in court and although they don't do as much business together even after all of what they've been through in the legal system, they actually still work together and Apple still relies on Qualcomm's technology. This says a lot more about the Qualcomm technology to me than anything else. In terms of growth, these days for Qualcomm, it's less about the handheld devices moving forward and more about the automation within the automobile and industrial sectors. The amount of computer chips in new cars, especially EVs these days, is astonishing. In the automotive segment for Qualcomm, the company has built a pipeline that exceeds $30 billion which is nearly a 60% jump quarter over quarter. This is where the huge disconnect between the market and what the company is actually doing is taking place. The market right now is valuing Qualcomm more based on what they did as a chip maker for smartphone devices, but they are moving well beyond smartphones and into automation within EVs and in the industrial sector. I believe there is a huge opportunity with shares of Qualcomm, especially after their latest release when management threw out guidance. Analysts are expecting 2023 EPS to drop by 18% before bouncing back by 21% in fiscal 24. Even with the lowered expectations, Qualcomm shares still trade at just 12 times. However, when you use those 2024 expectations, that multiple drops below 10 times, which is incredibly cheap for a company like Qualcomm. Over the past five years, shares of Qualcomm have traded closer to an average price to earnings multiple of 17 times. On the flip side, when you look at competitors like Nvidia and AMD, those companies trade at earnings multiples of 46 times and 22 times respectively. In terms of dividends, Qualcomm pays an annual dividend of $3 per share, which equates to a dividend yield of 2.4%. Over the past five years, Qualcomm has increased their dividend at an average annual rate of 6%, and they have increased that dividend for 19 consecutive years and counting. So there we have four very different dividend stocks, yet all high quality. Target has been crushed this year and are trading at very reasonable valuations right now. The risk reward, I believe, in shares of Target is great. And then you have a REIT like Simon Property Group, the best, the largest and best mall landlord there is in the country. Then you move to someone like Costco, whose shares have held up quite well this year, and those should continue to fuel with rising food costs right now. And then Qualcomm is the cheapest among them all, with the highest growth potential in my eyes. Down in the comment section below, let me know which of these four dividend stocks you like best. And if you could do me a huge favor and click that like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more dividend content. And with that being said, we'll see you next time. Take care.